Hi, this is Thunder Yee from BorderWork.com. This is Bowman from BW1.com. And welcome to your Enjoy the Entertainment segment. And today we'll be talking about, um, well, slightly painful, but we'll be talking about Nintendo and the Lazy Gaming Part 2. Part 2 consists of me saying something about yes, this. Yes, definitely. <laughs> seriously, let's just start it off. Wait, 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 wait for let's, let's calm down, calm down. I, I know, I know it's painful, I mean, you know, but just... It ain't painful, it's just keeping it real. <laughs> <laughs> it's just keeping it real. I'm going to keep it real, real quick. Okay. I walked into the... I, I was walk, work, working at the store yesterday, walking through, looking through the store, and I see a new Wii game. Mm -hmm. It's Cold Stone. No, 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 not, not some badass guy with a gun or machete or something like that. No, Cold Stone, the creamery, the ice cream store had a game. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yes. Now, I'm saying this with a straight face. <laughs> Cold Stone ice cream game. Like, like I, I can understand cooking, Mama. I can understand something where you bake cakes or something like that. I, 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 I get those, because those, those are more only just repetitive speed type games. But mm -hmm. Cold Stone. Yeah. I mean, I, I talked about this earlier. What the hell's going to prevent Subway from coming out with yeah. something? Yeah, I know. I mean, Wendy's, McDonald's, you know, shake them fries. Shake that fry. Start doing a dance. I mean, I mean, this is this is almost, this is not a side product of the Wii. You know, yes, we, we talked about it in an early video, you know. And, and these, you know, these, these are companies getting junk development to go out there and just, uh, the, you know, Nintendo needs to go back to using the seal of approval on stuff. On, well, every, on it, every one of their wait, games. Wait, wait, isn't it still on there, right? On, on the their own? Oh, yeah. They don't. They don't do it for anybody else. They do, I, I swear, I think it's on their own. I'm not sure if it's on anybody else's stuff. Uh, I. I don't know. I, mean, I, I, we'll I know it's on their own, but it's. Ugh. It's. It's still. It's still painful to, to to see that um, the house of Nintendo, which had the ability to say, you know what, this is crap. We don't want it in our system. You know what? Or oh, make it better. Whatever it is, now allows every Tom Dick and Harry to just come out there. A PlayStation Two. They're doing what PlayStation 2 did. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you say. True. PlayStation 2 true. had a lot of great quality games. But there was a lot of crap on that system, too. Very true. See, but that's the thing. That's the thing, I think. I think that's where the problem is. You know, at least we can say the PlayStation should almost... They almost had a balance there. Yeah, they had a, they they had had a, a balance. decent balance. They, balance when you say they, they had a better work. balance than what Nintendo has with yes. Wii right now. They have a much better balance. I don't know what's going on. It's, it's, it's one of those things, again, like similar with the GameCube and Nintendo, which is on its, its own best developer, which isn't shocking, mm -hmm. which is not shocking, because mm -hmm. it should be that way, but it's like, if it's not them or Capcom... Yeah, exactly. Like, That's right. Silence. 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 Right there. Like, right there. I mean, you know, it, it, it's quite annoying. It's, it's, it's quite painful to say, you know what, I talked about this earlier, you know, I wanted to pick up a new game, we game this, you know, this winter holiday. Nothing. I mean, I, outside I, of Super Mario Bros. Wii, exactly. But just a game I feel I can get any time. I don't have to really rush to get that because I already played it on the DS, and it just they're just giving me the same experience with that, putting it on the Wii, but, but, giving but some even, with it. But it's nice to play. But even that too, it's almost a standard. You know you're gonna get it. Yeah. So you know, you put that in the corner right yeah, there. Exactly. It's done. You know? It's done. You know you're gonna get yeah. that eventually. But I, I want something else. I want something you know fresh and different on the system. You know, but all, I have to wait for or three games. Literally, I can think of next year. I know E3 is going to come, Nintendo's going to show something else. But basically, you know what? Um, I'm waiting for Red Steel 2. Mm -hmm. You know, No More Heroes 2. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's the third one? I see now, nah, I'm going to black it out. <laughs> I mean, oh man. I, I mean, oh, maybe a new Zelda, new full Zelda. Yeah, we know like a new that. full Zelda will come around, but yeah. it's still almost one of those things that Nintendo, you know, what have you done to say this is a catalog of stuff out there? You know, you know. Well, you know, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll throw another developer in there. If it's not Nintendo, it's not Capcom or EA. Like EA is the only other, I think, other developer outside of those two that have taken it serious. Yeah, to put games on there. But it's and they've adjusted their streamlined games to work with that, and it, it's worked. It's made sense that they've done that, that the way they've done it. Mm -hmm. But um, it's just like, come on, like seriously, come on. Exactly. They're just shoveling anything out there. It's getting to be like PC wear. Like it's like the shovel way to fight all the games you go in the bin and find. It's like, come on, man. Like it, it, it's they need to put a, a stop to it and. and Literally, if they came out on E3 and sat there and said, hey, we're stopping this lazy development, there was a certain <laughs> guy that we're having, and then that's the only thing that they announced, I would be fine. I'd be, I'd be happier than any other game being Oh, announced. yeah, I definitely. I mean, oh, well, there's the Metroid Prime Mother Ram. That's the other game you're thinking of. Oh, yes. yes Metroid yes, Prime yes, Mother Ram. Yes. And that's the one that's being made by um, Team Ninja. Exactly. Yeah, so that, that should be... 
you know, at least they're taking it somewhat serious, yeah, but same. nobody else takes any. any but but that's serious. the thing, and it's one thing I fear going into into the next generation for Nintendo. We know the Wii's not going to last as long as you know Xbox 360 can push the life of yeah. PS3, and we know Wii HD or Wii HD 2, whatever is coming out. You know, There's going to be a high definition initial. version of the Wii, no yeah. matter what Reggie Fism he says. Yeah. It's going to be an HD one. That's going to be their next ticket up. Hey. They're not going to change much on it because it's going to come out sooner probably than the other systems will. Yeah, and it won't be that dramatically different. Some accessories still have to work on the original. Oh yeah, original ba one basically for that for people to go out there and they're going to pull the DS with this. Oh yeah, I mean the Motion Plus will j just be built into the controller probably. Yeah. That's pretty much it, but we, I mean, if your old remote with motion plus connected to it will work just the same way. Yeah, that's it might be a little bit more fine tuned than motion plus, you know, controller, but I mean, but like you said, that's literally what it is. But my problem, I'm thinking, is you know what? You've gone to this habit of just nasty, terrible, either, um, you know, game lineups and, and not putting your super quality on things and saying, you know, things you'd be on a certain level. How would developers now look at the VHDS? Will they look at it still as that somewhat cheap? Because it will be cheap. To develop for it will be cheap to develop for, but you know, I think I think there I think there's gonna be there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a, I think they have to lay a smackdown a little bit on it and yeah. say, hey, we're only gonna accept a certain level of quality, and if you're not there, you can go develop for our cheaper system, but not for this system. Exactly. You know what I mean? They're gonna parse it out like to do with the DS and the DSi and stuff like that. I mean, Nintendo DS has a better ratio of catalog to games than the Nintendo Wii. Oh, yeah, definitely. You yeah. know. Honestly, Nintendo DS is treated like a different system. It probably has a better catalog of better games than most full console systems. Mm -hmm. So it's probably not a fair comparison, but still. I mean, it's getting to the point where I can't tell the difference between a, a, a Wii game and an iPhone game. Yeah, you know, let's never go there because we know Epic just threw up an engine for the iPhone with Unreal 3. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like, you know, I mean, but, but, but that's the thing, you know. It, it's one of the things where Nintendo hasn't, you know, hasn't made that considered effort to say, you know what, stop this rubbish, we can't have this on our system. You know what, or maybe even still say, look, we will allow you to make certain amount of, you know, cheap throw shovel world games. Yeah, you can do that, but we also want to see X amount of, you know, yeah. quality games from you. And, you know, developers, yeah, you know, companies would like that. It's a business decision. Yeah, fine. All these shovelware will pay for all these good games. Yeah. You know, it's very simple, logical things to do, but not just say, you know, Make something for us and we'll throw it out there. Exactly. You know, I mean, give, give, give us something innovative or something of quality. And that's, I think, that's what we're just looking for mm -hmm. from Nintendo Wii developers. Yeah. Stop treating this like it's the GameCube still. Yeah. Like, you know, just put out some qual better quality games. That's all we have to say on that. Yeah, so, I mean, let us know what you guys think about it. You know what? Uh, post a comment on, on, under this video. You can make a, you know, a video response to this. You know, you can comment on. You know, my page, butterwalk.com or bw1.com. Yes, you know, comment on there. Yeah, just definitely let us know. I mean, it's very aggravating, trust me. It, it, and I'm pretty sure it's aggravating not just for we owners, but for just gaming, <laughs> gaming in general. Like, the, the, this is gaming in general that's kind of aggravated with, aggravated with this, you know? Yeah. I, 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 can't, I, I can't see anybody happy about Shovel because it, if it starts on one, it could start easily on the other ones, and then we're getting an influx of shovelware across all consoles. And then we're getting flooded with it, and it's not a very good thing. So, like he said, give us some responses to this, definitely. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube pages, you know, borderwork.com as well as BW1. Yep. You I'm know, just hit the yellow button, click, yeah. click, click. He says it quite well, you know, and subscribe to our RSS feeds. And again, this is Thunder E from borderwork.com saying, always enjoy your entertainment. This is Bowman from BW1.com. Always remember to live your tech world in high definition.